repositioning the mal position oil many time we encounter the cases where lens was mal position because of some or other reason we are going to deal with number of cases where the lenses are mal position and how we can easily manage them into the position This is simple case hydrophilic lens both haptic car in sulcus that's why the lens was sulcus with the spatula bag was made open capsule was polished and lens was slide in the big advantage of hydrophilic is that that it, with the pressure it easily slides into the big and it's very simple remove the all capsular material legs wash posture capsule clean the chamber this is another case and this hydrophilic lens one haptic was in sulcus and other was in the bag that was causing decentration and astigmatic error rexis seems to be broken again we have to polish the capsule anterior posterior board and open the bag and gently slide the haptic into the bag with the slight pressure over the haptic and polish anterior capsule as much as we can do so to avoid the chances of pco later on go on doing aye this is another case the three piece oil decenter into the sulcus posterior capsular rand but good rexis margin and it can easily be centered with the help of hook without disturbing the vitreous good eye to enter vitrectomy with the tricot if needed tricot will help to recognize the vitreous takes this is another case in this haptic is touching the endothelium you can see a striped body use good viscoelastic first assess that you have sufficient trim of anterior capsule where your haptic can you can get support a 
of the bay lens is gone into the sulcus center it separate anterior synechia posh after vitrectomy this is another case giving corneal edema you can see uh, the corne persistent corneal edema because of the haptic touching from the upper part to the cornea with the help of the tricot identify the do enter vitrectomy separate the iris and all this fibrous band rotate the lens into the sulcus after assessing the remnant enter capsule extent do enter vitrectomy again and you notice the clarity of the cornea on the table. Sometimes lens get posterior dislocated either in posterior vitreous or over the retina. Then it report vitrectomy. Do report vitrectomy in the eliminator. So is to cut all traction bands and if lens is floating you can just hold this lens with the forcep and bend back into the anterior chamber. If there is no support remove this lens and go for another option like glue dial, scleral fixation or iris claw. In this case, there was clear cut visibility of the entry capsule was there. So it is implanted in the sulcus. And with the minimum incision, the lens is placed in the sulcus. This is a case of dislocated one claw iris claw so lens dislocated into the vitreous cavity just hold it bring into the anterior chamber again go retro iris and as we do in retro fixation of the iris it can be done thanks